Hey everyone, how you doing? In today's video, we're going to go over the Elgato Stream Deck and why I think this is a tool that all video or content creators or even just anyone that wants to increase their productivity, whether it's whether you're a content writer, video editor, blogger, YouTuber, streamer, this is the go-to tool. And I'm going to show you why. So before we get into the video, do me a favor. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment as it really helps out the channel. So as you can see, I'm here over on the Elgato.com Stream Deck website. And this is the Elgato version that I have. And I'm just going to show you this on my desktop that I'm physically on. As you can see... I've got my shortcuts here. You can see over here, I've got Microsoft Outlook. I've got all of these programmed for quick actions that I need. If I wanted to open up a separate browser in Brave, I could do that. Um, I've got CapCut as in my video editing for VFX. I've got Camtasia for doing streaming tutorials like I'm doing now. I've got Discord if I want to get into my socials very fast. WhatsApp, LinkedIn to make my contacts and my leads and, and get back to messages that people are contacting me on. YouTube Studio to check my analytics, one up app for, for importing my socials or videos into multiple platforms. I got Zoom for my Zoom meetings, Telegram and ChatGPT. And I'm gonna show you um, a few ways that I use this and recently how it helps with my stream and my flow throughout the day. So as you can see on my screen, you can see that I've got a new version of available, a new version is available for Stream Deck. And the great thing that I like about Stream Deck is they constantly update. Like the amount of times I've seen an update for Stream Deck has been numerous times. And I've probably seen, I probably see this at least four or five, six times a year. So anyways, I'm just gonna update this version. I'm going to click on install and the way you get stream deck or the software or the latest software, all the instructions are going to come when you open the box, uh, when you plug it into your Mac and you can see, I'm going to continue to install this continue. It's very easy. It's very easy. So once it's installed, the instructions are very easy. So what you want to do is just click on stream deck at the top and you're going to see your profiles. And here is what I like to do. Um, this is actually replicate, replicating my Elgato Stream Deck, what, what I actually have in terms of hotkeys. And here's what I mean by, I think, every content creator, every person, anyone that wants to help with productivity. Because when you're doing video editing, you need hotkeys. When you stream, whether you're a streamer on Twitch, streamer on YouTube, you need hotkeys. And I'm going to show you this. When you come over to your profiles, like this is my work video editing. Okay, so when I'm... In post-production, I like to use these tools. I always like to make sure that my Outlook is open in case I've got a burning email that's coming. But at the same time, I also want to open up Brave Browser to move this over to my secondary monitor in case I'm watching YouTube video while I'm video editing kind of or listening to a podcast. CapCut is a tool that I use for VFX. So if I want to open up CapCut, I just press it. Camtasia, when I'm doing my tutorials, like I'm doing a tutorial right now and I want to post edit it, I will open this up. Okay, then you've got other uh, features. Once the video is edited, I upload it to one app. Um, and then I also have different things like ChatGPT when I want to upload my script where I want ChatGPT to write me a script. So I'm going to show you how to configure uh, multiple profiles and what I mean. So let's say I'm doing something for OBS and I'm going to show you my OBS profile. So here's my OBS profile. Let's say when I'm streaming. Okay, so I want to run a scene. I want to show my camera. I want to share my screen in OBS or let's say I want to mute or I want to look at viewers. And I'm going to show you how easy this is. So over here, you can see I've got OBS is the record button. If I wanted to replace this with something in OBS related, I come over here. I could search for OBS, OBS, and now everything underneath OBS is going to show here. Now let's say in OBS, I want to start, I want to use this button to record. All I'm going to do is highlight this, click over here and drag it. And now that is in my Elgato Stream Deck settings where this button, when I press, it's going to start recording. And over here, if you want to transition to another scene, you could come over to the bottom and just replace it. If I, if I didn't want the mute button there, I could replace it here like that. So this is everything related to OBS and you don't necessarily have to have all OBS actions here. Let's say I wanted to have my WhatsApp. So if I wanted to have WhatsApp running in this scene or in this Elgato Stream Deck card here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to system. I'm going to go to open and I'm going to move the open over to run scene. And now I'm going to call this WhatsApp 
I'm going to come over here. And now underneath my applications, I'm just going to scroll down all the way to W to look for WhatsApp, double click on it. And there you go. Now I've got WhatsApp as a hotkey. So as I've been doing my OBS stream, and if I wanted to pop up WhatsApp, I could easily do that very fast. I don't have to go to applications, look for it, etc. It's just one click of a button on my desktop and I'm good to go. So now I've got my OBS stream deck configured. Now let's say I'm done my stream. I want to get into post editing and this is how it looks like on my desktop. This is physically how it's running. Now I want to close this and let's say I'm ready to video edit, post edit. I'm going to come over to the top I'm going to click on the Elgato and now I'm just going to come over here and just click on work video editing. Now when I go to stream deck, I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is now I'm in my work video editing Elgato profile. So now when I'm ready to video edit it, I could now I could put Final Cut Pro because sometimes I use Final Cut Pro or if you use After Effects for Adobe, you can put Adobe After Effects. But right now the, the main tools that I'm using for video editing or post editing is Camtasia for tutorials, Final Cut Pro, CamCut, and then also over here, I'm probably going to put a resource to where all of my stock video uh, B-roll is, is going to be. I use a combination of Motion Array as well as Envato and Storyblocks. So I could put that all here. And that's the power of Stream Deck. Uh, one of my other profiles is called Main Ecamm. And I'm going to show you my, my Main Ecamm. I use this all the time. So this is actually my my go to when I'm doing a lot of streams, because if I want to do a vertical stream, I can if I want to mute while I'm doing a live, I can if I want to run a scene, I can um, over here is the main scene that I run, which is I call this run scene when I start Ecamm. So the first thing I like to do is when I'm sitting at my desk and I'm ready to do a live or even a video, a vertical video, especially I start up Ecamm, I run my first scene and then I go to the next scene and done. An another option actually I should have here and I'm going to actually do this live. So Ecamm for Zoom, I'm going to do Ecamm Live. I'm going to click the record button because I use the record button on Ecamm a lot. So, so over here, I'm just going to move this to start and stop local record. So every time I press the local record, it's going to record, start the recording. And then when I'm finished my recording, I'm just going to quickly press on the stop and then it's going to finish. And if I wanted to rename the title so it looks... You know, because right now it might say local record and I'm just going to come over here and it's going to put title, stop, start, Ecamm. And I could come over here and edit the text and I can just kind of move it smaller so it actually fits there. And I can see it. So start, stop, and I could bold it as well. And that's it. So start, stop, Ecamm. So I know that this button is a record button. And like I said, you could also play different sounds in Ecamm Live. I use this all the time for my Ecamm Live. So like I mentioned, once I want to go into Ecamm mode, I just come over here at the top. I'm going to select my Ecamm main profile. Once I'm done Ecamm, I'm just going to come over here to my Elgato and select my work post video editing. I should actually call this uh, post editing because... With post editing, I always make sure that I've got the essential tools for in case I want to check productivity work as well as video editing. Because sometimes when you're doing video editing, you're working for one to two hours for video editing and you want to start and stop and pause and check your outlook, check your email if there's anything burning or check your WhatsApp messages or your Telegram messages. So that's how I use Stream Decks Elgato. I think it's it's essential for anyone that is doing video production, streaming, content creation, uh, whether you're a freelancer as well, you've got multiple tools that you're using. I think Elgato is probably the most resourceful, most useful tool to use for productivity. So anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.